in the old days when we didn't have computers and we just had hand drawings or everything was done on paper uh, drawings were done on paper markups were done on paper revisions were done on paper and then we hit the digital age so with AutoCAD uh, what we've got we've got a system to take care of both the drawing side of things plus the markup side of things as well without actually printing out anything so what they've introduced into AutoCAD which is also available in LT so I'll be showing you it in AutoCAD LT is the markup manager uh, we will run a drawing file a DWG we'll save it or export it to a DWF or DWFX then what we'll do is we will then go and open up in design review uh, do our markups and then show those markups by importing it back or opening it back up into AutoCAD actually reflect uh, in there the changes we've made so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to export this um, into a DWF file so export to DWF <clears throat> And let's go and save it on the desktop. Now, what we're going to do over here now is we're going to go and open up our design review. And with our design review, we're going to go make those changes. So, or we're going to go actually mark up, put a couple of cloud, cloud revisions in. So I'm going to open up the DWF that I've just created there and there you can see that's what we've got so now what i'm actually working on is i'm working in model space okay and with that model space i can go put in my uh, markup so let's say uh, you know let's you know something's got to happen over here do your cloud and okay this needs to change to an angle of 2.5 degrees And uh, let's go maybe do another one and we just maybe want to put a, a just a bit of a squiggle over here just just for dramatic effect okay so once I've done this I can go and save this marker and let's go back to our AutoCAD and see what that's done so to manage the the DWF in AutoCAD uh, we go and open up our DWF um, or manager sorry our markup manager okay so there's the markup open up DWF markup um, okay, I don't want to show you this one. Let's just go back to the DWF no, sorry. Uh, markup and I'm going to go open up the markup manager. So this markup manager, uh, markup set manager uh, opens up on the side over here and with this I can go and open up uh, the, the DWF that I've just marked up. So there's my exterior elevations and go open. Okay, so with this over here you'll see that I've actually got the exterior elevations. I'm working on my model tab. So that's I only had a model tab over here. If you look at my original drawing, there's actually nothing sitting in my, my paper space or my layout one. And it says that this needs to change to an angle of two and a half degrees. So it's, it's telling me what I've, I've, I've put there, but I can't see it on the drawing. So what we need to do is if you just right click, you can see the open up markup. And there you can see it puts in all the markups that I've created while I was in my design review. So this needs to change to an angle of two and a half degrees. You go make your change over there. Once you're done, you've got some details at the bottom. So with these details, I can say, you know, Dave, I've got a question about this. Okay, question. You can make your notes at the bottom over here. Um, this needs to go for review now so it can actually get accepted and then we can uh, so we can sort of go on with that or it can be done okay so it's done over there um i have changed the pitch of the roof okay so just so you know it was created on this data over here and the markup creators altered so once again there so now you, you you've got a record of who's actually changed this the freehand you know this markup status ah it's done awesome now, you want to keep on drawing, but the markup's still there. So what do you do? Take off the red line. Put it back on again. Okay. Maybe you want to view the DWG. For, you want to sort of view the markup in a more accentuated format just to see what's going on there. You can see it a bit more clearly. Okay. Okay, so <clears throat> what happens is, okay, we've gone out to revision one. Now revision two needs to go out. So what do we do then? So we make another DWF. Export. Uh, DWF and actually you know what this time I'm going to do is maybe we've created a layout for this okay so we're just going to go to our layout and go and create a a viewport over here okay and then we say right 
let's go and export this now to our DWF. So export DWF, I'm actually going to say this now is a Rev 2. Okay, or Rev 1, because that's we're on the first revision at the moment. Okay, so once that's done, um, we go off to our design review and we go open up that file. So opening up my exterior elevations, Rev 2, or Rev 1, sorry, um, we'll see there that we've got the the house and it doesn't have those those revisions on it. But what we're also seeing over here is the layout. So we can do revisions on both the layout tab plus the, the model tab as well. Okay. So once again, you know, we just go and put some revisions. Okay, that needs to change now. Uh, or uh, we need to sort of just make some squigglies over there or oh, my favorite approved there's guys they're not approved approved rejected let's reject this oh this is not going to work I don't like it and rejected over there rejected by me 19 of the 6 2019 at, at a very very late hour okay so so once it's there you know you can go and rotate it to um, some funny angles if you want to Let's go save this and uh, go back to our DWG. So with this DWG over here, uh, we can go up and let's go open up the second DWF that I created and saved. Okay. And over here, now you can see that I've got those three different uh, highlights. Open markup and there we go. So you can see there's my markup over there. So this was actually rejected. Um, let's, I'm going to go let's just see done. Okay, open up this markup and then you can start seeing the rest of the markups that I did. Um, but you know, you want to see, okay, right? So this is the second set of um, markups that we do. What happened to the first one? Did we override it? No, it is sitting over there. So you can actually then go and see what the different marks up markups were um, as as we went along. It actually will jump to your model space. That's where the, the first markups were done over there. Okay, so we can keep a track just by maybe creating a different file name of here, the different DWFs that we've got. Um, uh, and, and just see the actual the different markups that were done to the um, to the, the the drawing process over here. Okay. So just another way that Autodesk is making our lives a little bit easier and allowing us also not to cut down a whole lot of forests. Thank you very much for watching.